I was thinking about that show and we were looking at photographs together mm. of, of the installation and I had such good memories of, of that. Um, one of the things that, like the feelings that I got from mm. that show was um, a, really, a really strong sense of outside coming inside. And especially the way we installed it with all the windows open and all natural light coming from the skylight and the natural windows. And I remember walking through that show when we were installing and you would feel a breeze coming in, feeling of um, kind of movement. And I also liked that it felt really kind of um, crowded in a way, like you were walking into a greenhouse and you just kind of, you really weren't, you didn't have a lot of space around you. You kind of had to kind of weave your way around all mm. of the trees and the plinths. And, and then one of the main points of, of or one of the main, um, you know, objective of the show was to make it so that you couldn't quite see a painting without seeing branches or leaves or, or blossoms in front of the painting. So mm. either you had to move your body around to kind of really see the painting, or you just had to accept the fact that there was this uh, nature that was kind of dominating the space, dominating the gallery, but dominating the artwork too. We even made this beautiful artist book that we published ourselves and printed locally in Mexico. And that book shows all the inspiration that I was looking at while I was making the paintings in my studio in Brooklyn. So I was collecting images of, um, of uh, different shades of purple, lilac, violet. Um, in Mexico, as you know, all, all the, many of the buildings are painted with these bright colors, often this jacaranda color, this kind of particular shade of, of lilac, violet, and um, that almost matches perfectly the color of the blossoms. And so I mm. found for the cover of that book, I, I found a side of a building, I think it's a Barragan building in Guadalajara. Mm. And so, um, you know, that was a big inspiration too. So it's not just the, the blossom or the tree itself, but the way that that tree kind of inspires other things. Also on the second floor of the gallery, we, we've hung 10 framed collages upstairs. And um, I was really glad that you pushed me to present those because it's kind of those collages and those sketches are something I usually just keep for myself. And I just kind of have as part of my sketchbook in my studio, it's a way of just grabbing ideas and um, thinking about forms and so on that, that might inform a painting. But um, we pulled out some of those pages and framed them. And I was, it was great to see them like that upstairs. It was almost like this attic of ideas, which was related, you know, re which relates back to the show downstairs. Paintings usually start with an idea, um, a sketch, a drawing, um, a collection of colors that I'll work out on, in these sketchbook pages. So um, maybe it's a particular angle of a f or a particular curve that I'm interested in. Maybe it's a particular color combination. But what usually what I'll do is I'll make a drawing and then I'll turn that into a pattern. So mm -hmm. say it's a small little kind of sketch, I'll refine it on the computer or refine it um, making by making a bigger drawing. And then I'll kind of transfer that, blow it up into a large scale pattern using pattern paper. From there, I will cut out pieces of canvas, paint them, um, let them dry. Then those pieces of canvas get ironed because I'm using a kind of a textile paint. Um, then I trim it up a little bit tighter, lay it out on the floor, lay out the shapes on the floor, and then those shapes get stitched together. It's kind of this weird way of working, which is both really precise because it's about this like stitching small stitches and working from a pattern. But then there's this other part, which is really instinctual and, and kind of just, I don't know, expressive, <laughs> you could say, and fast, uh, which is the taking down and cutting and making quick decisions um, and then putting it back together again. So it's a kind of a push pull process.